Tonight, the former treasurer of a local youth sports association has been charged with allegedly stealing more than $100,000 from two leagues for personal use. We first reported that she was removed from her position when the financial improprieties came to light last month, and now she's facing criminal charges. Shelly Bortz joins us live from South Fayette Township with more. Shelly. Well, parents of kids who play baseball and softball here say they are ecstatic to learn that the league's former treasurer has finally been charged after months of investigating. They need to be arrested, prosecuted. Lisa Harrelcheck used to be the treasurer for the South Fayette Youth Lacrosse Association and the South Fayette Baseball and Softball Association from 2021 until she was relieved of her duties in May of this year. When parents found out Harrelcheck allegedly stole more than $100,000 from their children's youth sports leagues, they were appalled. To think that someone would be a part of this organization and steal from these kids is... It's unconscionable. According to the police paperwork, Harold Check is accused of making unauthorized transactions, totaling nearly $82,000 as the Lacrosse Association's treasurer and just over $88,000 as the Baseball and Softball Association treasurer. Reportedly, she used the money for things like baseball and hockey payments for her kids, kenneling for her pets, clothes, car payments, and much more. I am shocked that they don't have different protocols for dispersing money, taking money in. Is, are they not watching this? In a statement posted to its Facebook page, the South Fayette Baseball and Softball Association says in part, the board instituted numerous security measures to prevent future occurrences. Additionally, the board is currently evaluating all options available to recoup the funds. Now, court paperwork states Halicek admitted to the crimes, but not before forging and falsifying financial statements to cover her tracks. But get this, she told police she kept a tally of all her spending and she planned on paying it all back, every penny of it. Reporting live in South Fayette Township, Shelley Bortz, KDKA-TV News.